Art, let me ask you, um, in the marriage agency hmm. industry, the mail order bride industry as it's referred to, um, it's over a billion dollars, as I said, in Ukraine and Russia. Of that money intake, of that billion dollars a year in revenue, what percentage of it in the industry do you think is fraudulent versus legitimate? Based on your experience. Yeah, based on my experience uh, and people I've talked to, people I've known in the industry, mm -hmm. uh, probably a full 90% of it is uh, fraudulent in the sense that uh, it's just a way of separating you from your money. You're not really getting anything for it. Mm -hmm. uh, letter writing scams and all that. I think it's fully 90%. And, and you were saying uh, off camera, you think it's borderline criminal, like it's really bad? Yeah. I think it is. I feel like the uh, if it was legitimate, you were legitimately conversing back and forth with a real woman, who uh, then it wouldn't be. But I don't think that's happening. In my experience, in my knowledge, it's not most of the time, 90% of the time. Yeah. So as far as I'm concerned, if it was in America, it would be fraudulent. Yeah. It would be criminally fraudulent. Criminal. Misrepresentation. Yeah, here it's it's acceptable practice. It's buyer beware. It is. Uh, so, you know, you take these huge chances. Uh, you live in a virtual world by writing these letters back and forth. And this is the risk you take. Let's talk about how the agencies work. Sure. Uh, typically, the man in America or the Western world sees a beautiful model, <laughs> 25, 30 years old, and he's 50 or 60 or whatever. Sure. And uh, she says on the profile, um, I'm looking for a man from 45 to 65. And he's 55, so he figures, oh, wow, that's great. She's, she's interested in possibly yes, me. He starts yes. writing her. As we said earlier, he, he, she's, and he ends up talking to Igor instead. Igor is, yeah. is responding for, on behalf of her. Uh, he develops this relationship with, mm -hmm. with her as he thinks. It goes on for months. He spends typically thousands of mm -hmm. dollars. And then he gets up the nerve to say, you know what, uh, Olga, let's say her name is, I'm coming to the Ukraine to see you. Mm -hmm. It's my vacation coming yeah. up. What do they do? Do they want the Western man to come? No, no, definitely Why not. not? Why not? Definitely not, because uh, if he comes here, then he, you'll find the truth that he's not been writing to this woman. And even if he meets the same woman, she's going to be, who are you? Cold as a fish. Because he's, they have no relation. He has built this false expectation up. He's built letters. a relationship with Igor. Yes, the and the picture. And the picture. And the photograph. Fall in love with the photo. Right, so even if they were to come and have a genuine meeting, mm -hmm. this woman would just sit there and would not be a participant in this. She would be paid to come there and sit for an hour, and then all of a sudden she'll have a birthday she has to attend to, or a, a wedding, or a girlfriend you know, calls her and say, help, help, you know, type of thing. And she's gone, and that's it. And the man is done, because that's the end of it. Not going to have nothing else. And then I, I had that happen several times. And then the first thing they do, of course, the interpreter says, "Well, uh, we know some other ladies that were really, you would really like, uh, and we'll be glad to introduce them to you." Yeah, at a hundred bucks a head, uh -huh. they'll introduce so they you to all kinds of. Yes, yes, yes. And in the meantime, you know, your your heart's you're broken. What happened? You had a relationship with this lady for yeah, months yeah. online, letter writing, poured your heart and soul out to her. It's not her you're talking to. She's not interested in you. Not you at pay all. her to show up. Mm -hmm. uh, common. Very, very, very common. Very common. Very tragic. Very, very tragic. common. And I can speak firsthand with that. Um, experiences numerous times that I've been taken by that one. Right. So it's a it's a terrible trap to get uh, to get caught in uh, the letter writing. Um, I'm not sure that I could really, in good conscience, recommend anybody get caught up in these letter writing schemes, even though they do occasionally will work. Uh, I think that uh, I would look for a much better approach. Uh, were I to do this with my experience, and were I to do this again eight years ago, okay, I, yeah, tell I, us. Would not, uh, I would not go through the letter writing deals. I, I, I just invested way more money and time and heart heartache in it than I ever got out of it. I would look for a legitimate uh, service that, uh, that maybe vets and interviews and uh, does profile research on ladies and gentlemen that are interested, serious people, mm -hmm. not just ones who want to play, but I mean serious people who are seriously looking for marriage and a relationship and uh, try to match the two together in, in real life, mm -hmm. not in uh, letter writing and where you're 
you're dreaming about something that doesn't exist. It'll never exist. Your expectations are way out of whack. And, 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 and in the industry, do, have you seen such agencies that no. legitimately are looking to make money matching a man and a woman? No. 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 They don't care. It's a byproduct. It's an unfortunate byproduct for, I think, in the industry. It's that, that once in a blue once blue in a blue. while, somebody will get married, and they make a big issue out of it. Uh -huh. I mean, you'll see them plaster pictures, but there'll be one or two or three, maybe at the most, and then they'll have a stable of uh, two two thousand women, and maybe they have a marriage and make a big issue out of it. But it's a tragic uh, byproduct for them because it it ends their cash flow for that person in that marriage. So the intent of the industry, no. the whole industry, is not to make happy couples and happy marriages. Uh, no, it it's cuts, to make money. It's to make money. It's a, they're businesses, mm -hmm. and they don't want. It's it's like being a drug addict. They don't want you getting, uh, you know, loose of the drug habit. They want to keep you hooked. So this begs the <laughs> this begs the question: <clears throat> Is there legitimately a lot of beautiful single ladies in the Ukraine looking for a man? a good man to marry, whether he be Ukraine or from the Western world. Is there a big need for that? Is there a lot of lonely, single, beautiful women in Ukraine? More than you can possibly imagine. These are real women with real feelings, real emotions, real desires, real wants. These are not, you know, Barbie dolls. And they're not little toys. Oh, these they're, women they're strong do, women. These women will, will, if you try to treat them like some little toy and play with them around, boy, they'll pick that up in a heartbeat and you'll be walking. These are real women. Yeah. They are worth the effort. Mm -hmm.